I'm going to show you how to create a simulated chrome effect in Affinity Designer. And we'll start by using the artistic text tool, dragging out some text. I'm going to position that center of the page. You can see I've got some guides popping up. Again, you can get to that or enable that by going to the view menu, snapping manager, and just enabling snapping. Now the text that I've chosen um, has some outlines here that are not uh, they're not the look I want. I want it to all look like one solid object. So I'm going to go ahead and convert this to curves. I'm going to ungroup this and then I'm going to select these letters and I'm going to combine them with the add option up here at the upper right. You can see that got rid of those uh, outlines that were connecting the letters. I'm going to regroup that. I actually don't want that on the same layer as my background, so I'm going to cut that with Command X. Paste it onto a new layer. The other thing I want to do, um, I think I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to get rid of the fill color. There we go. Okay, so because it's a group, the uh, color chips up here were not updating as expected. So just selecting the, the object and telling it that I wanted um, no fill still affected the entire group. The next thing I'm going to do is select the stroke. I'm going to give it a gradient. I'm going to add some internal color here, multiple uh, steps. I need some more white chips in here. And I'm just going to nudge these left and right. Now you can see this is the, um, the way the gradient works. You've got your colors, then you've got your uh, transition of the color. You can adjust those individually by pulling on these uh, dividing lines. You can see that also adjust down here in the uh, pull down menu with the midpoint option. Okay, so that's the um, pattern that I want. Now I want to rotate that because you can see that um, the color is going from left to right. I want it to go from top to bottom. I'm going to select my gradient tool on the left. I'm going to set the context to stroke. And I may actually, nope, there we go, that's good. Okay, so that works. Now I'm going to select my main color again. I'm going to give that a gradient. I'm going to disable the stroke on that. So now that's uh, got no stroke. We've just got a fill color.
I'm going to adjust that gradient as well. I think I'm going to type the numbers in. That should work for now. Now I want to duplicate my outline layer. I'm going to drag it below everything, the entire stack. And I'm going to turn off these other layers so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to adjust the gradient on this one. Again, I've got to set my context to stroke. I'm going to use uh, grayness to adjust this one because I want to start with that value. And it's not going to change too much, but you can just make out that there's a slight difference in the. Uh, the uh, color of the chrome there, the darker colors. So that's good. I'm going to turn back on my other layers. While I've still got uh, the underlying darker color selected, I just want to adjust that a, a little bit. Just enough to give that text some depth. I just nudge it down with my arrow keys. I don't want it showing on the left side that much. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go back to my um, fill color. I'm going to, just for visibility, I'm going to turn off that top layer. I'm going to duplicate my color layer. And I'm going to ungroup that. Now I'm going to drag a guideline down to roughly where I want to split these letters. I'm going to select my node tool. Actually, it looks like I got a guideline in there still, so let me get rid of that. Duplicate. All right, I'm going to drop a node there node there. On this set, I'm going to drop a node there and there. That one's already got one. There we go. And I'm going to go back to my first letter, select some of these top nodes, and delete those. I'll have to creatively break that, I think, break a couple of these. There we 
Okay, so I'm going to select my first node. I'm going to split those apart. not deleting it the way I wanted. Let's use my uh, move tool. Again, I'm going to split another node. See if I can get rid of that. Nope. All right. Now, with that first object selected, I'm going to go ahead and, um, again, with the node tool, I'm going to go up here and close the curve. That's better. Actually, I'm going to break that. So I'm going to hold the Option key. I'm going to break that um, curve there. Move on to the next one. I'm going to close that. And it's all right to give that a little bit of um, a curve as you're adjusting those handles. I'm going to open that. Again, move tool, select the top of that, delete it. And then we're going to close it up again, select it, and select it. Just want to massage these so that they look like they're about the same amount of curvature. Now, this E is going to be a little interesting, but I think what I'm going to do here is just add a couple of nodes. I'm going to try to um, match the bottom curve of that opening. Again, this is not a perfect science. We're going to have a uh, an outline that is over the top of that, so it won't be won't be real noticeable if I don't get this completely right. Okay, so I'm going to apply another gradient inside of this um, set of letters. Let me grab, grab those and group them again. For this one, I think I'm going to adjust the top to be darker. Let's go ahead and grab this. Blue. That's probably all right for now. Actually, no, I take that back. Let me grab this blue. Assign that with the right color mode set. I'm going to go to lightness. I'm going to make that a little darker with the same shade. And I don't want that to fade to gray. I want that to fade to white. And I'm going to turn back the turn on the uh, top layer again. Now that uh, outline is just a little bit thick for me, so I'm going to go ahead and select the uh, stroke tab. See if we can adjust that a bit. Yeah, six looks pretty good. 
I'm actually going to select that uh, that partial fill again and I'm going to change it from a pass through to I think a luminosity see what lighten looks like eh, no luminosity we'll do luminosity now that I look at it that uh, my fill should probably go the other way so let's go ahead and adjust that real quick there we go and then one final touch for chrome I'm gonna go over here to the left grab the double star tool I'm just gonna drop a small star here I'm going to fill it with a solid color. I'm going to give it a white fill color. I'm going to adjust the inner radius of that, uh, the points. Let's go ahead and drop that down a bit. Make that just a smidge bigger. Uh, I also want to get rid of the outlines on that, so or the uh, stroke. No stroke. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to position it right at the top of the letter where the uh, brightest points of the letters are. Looks like I'm snapping, so I'm going to go ahead and disable snapping for now. I'm going to position my star. I'm going to add an, an effect. So down here under layer effects, I'm going to go to a Gaussian blur. Position this so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to adjust the radius so that we get just a little bit of shine. And that looks pretty good. I can see it's under my outline, so I'm going to grab that, cut it, and I'm going to add it on a new layer just for the sake of um, keeping things separated paste that in. I'm going to paste another one in, drag that over to the top of the H, and that really is uh, the two brightest points on the on the text. I just want to say thank you for stopping by my channel. If this video was at all helpful to you, it'd mean a lot to me if you liked or subscribed. Share this video if you know someone that could use the information. As always, if you have questions, suggestions for tutorials, or if there is some other creative software that you think I should start making tutorials for, leave a comment below.